And welcome to the Screen Room. I'm Russ Simmons. And I'm Sean Edwards. And Russ, weekends like this are the reason why I recorded the Chiefs Super Bowl win. <laughs> because I will be watching that on repeat and mm. none of these movies. I, I don't blame you, man. We took a bullet this week. Well, anyway. Well, oops, Doc, too soon. <laughs> you're right. Oscar winner Ethan Cohen's first film without his brother Joel is a sleazy comic thriller called Drive Away Dolls. Margaret Qualley and Geraldine Viswanathan star in a raunchy road trip flick about these two lesbians pursued by criminals when they mistakenly drive off with a mysterious briefcase. Sean, the comedy is delivered with a sledgehammer. There's no punch in the punchline. The term decadent is too weak for a vulgar mess like this. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, agree with you. I know we're supposed to debate, but uh, you, you said everything correctly. And Ethan, he desperately needs his brother. I mean, this film is lazy. It's uninspired filmmaking. It's a weak story. It, it's so uninteresting. There is way too much unnecessary raunch in this road trip caper, like you said, about two lesbian friends caught up in a crime. This road trip is a dull ride. Do yourself a favor and drive away. Actually, Russ, don't even bother getting in your car. <laughs> this will be streaming before St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Two popcorn bags. One popcorn bag. Now, two-time Oscar winner Hilary Swank stars in the family-friendly drama Ordinary Angels. It tells the inspirational true story of an alcoholic hairdresser who seeks redemption by rallying her Kentucky community to help him with, with a child who's in desperate need of a liver transplant. That's nice. Yeah, it, it has a lot of familiar notes, but on the other hand, it may well evoke a tear or two. Maybe, maybe. Like you said, Ordinary Angels is an inspiring and moving movie. Now, Hilary Splank does explore new territory as an actress playing the alcoholic hairdresser, and she effectively adds some gravitas to this faith-based story based on actual events. Russ, it isn't complex storytelling or anything at all that's original, mm -hmm. but it sure will make you feel good yeah. and perhaps you may even cheer out loud a couple of times. I agree, three popcorn bags. I'm right there with you, three popcorn bags. Now, filmmaker Vim Wenders' Perfect Days is one of the nominees for this year's Best International Films Oscar. It's a very zen experience <laughs> as it conveys the daily routine of a man who cleans public toilets in Tokyo. Koji Yakusho won the Best Actor Prize at the Cannes Film Fest for this nearly silent performance. It's very slow moving, but patient viewers may succumb to its understated charms. Yeah, once again, you're correct. Um, it's a film that has moments of brilliance, but also moments of nothingness. Yeah. It, it takes the audience on a very simple and often glib journey. At times, it felt like a documentary. This is not for everyone, but it's a surprisingly joyful experience if you like taking cinematic risks. Gotcha, three popcorn bags. I agree, three popcorn bags. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screening room. Or you can go to our YouTube page. Or go